Right, hi everybody. Now, we're going to just lead off, uh, or lead on rather, from where we left off with the last video. Now, the last videos were all about how you set up a, a drum kit so you can do a live performance with it, okay? So that's what I've still got in here. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to build a bass machine, or a bass synth if you like, okay? Using, again, stuff that's supplied with Ableton. So, um, we'll stop this for the time being, okay? Now, um, we're going to just open up instruments, I'm going to use anal an analogue for this, okay? Now, what to bear in mind, again, I'm not showing you me constructing a bass line, I'm showing you me constructing a bass synth and s assigning knobs, so I can then go in and find a sound close to what I want and then manipulate it to, to be what I want it to be, okay? So, um, saying that, we'll just get into it now. Synth bass, I'm going to go into here and I'll just pick, let's see... Deep sweep, it's quite a good uh, bass noise, okay, so I'll bring that actually, I'll drag it over here so it opens up its own new MIDI channel, okay, and that's it appeared. Now I'm going to just go through this quick so you can come back and you can go through these steps again, okay, but just so we can fit as much into the videos as possible. Now, I want to turn it into an instrument rack, so I right click on it and hit group. It's an instrument rack, so there's the macros and there's the, the, the sort of chain if you like, okay. Now, what, I'm build, what, what I've got in mind for building this one is I'm going to build um, a bass machine that's also got an arpeggiator built into it, okay? So obviously I'm going to need an arpeggiator, so come into MIDI effects, arpeggiator, I'll just grab the back one. Now you can drop it into this box or it's easier I find just to put it the position where you want it to be in the chain. So obviously I want the, the arpeggiator to be in the chain before the bass, just so I can obviously, this affects it first, okay? Now, so there's the noise, I'm just going to turn that down a little bit because it's a bit loud. Okay, so we've got the bass noise, okay? So this is this is just so we've got something playing, I'm just holding down the key on the keyboard, the random key. Now if I hit hold, it's going to hold it for me so I can now go in and manipulate this. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come into MIDI, I'm going to assign these macros to more knobs on the controller, okay? There we go. So that's them all assigned. So that's me got them for me, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign some of the things from over here and bring it in here. Now, what I normally like to do when I'm building one of these as well, just put a limiter on it as well, just to find it gives you a nice, it helps get the noise, the noise coming out at the end, but it just sounds nicer. It saves things getting too crazy and going out. Obviously, I'm still going to have to limit the knobs, but it makes it a little bit easier, so I'll stick a limiter on it as well, okay? So, there we go. I usually like using the push, so bring that along and I'll stick that inside. You notice here that this bit here is the end of the instrument rack. So if I put it out here, it's out with it. If I bring it here, it's within it. So, so there we go. So that's just got that in there. Now, the next thing I need to do is start assigning things to the macros. So, when I, when I use a arpeggiator, I usually like to have gate, steps and distances at least the starting point for my knobs, okay? So, I'm going to right click on gate and go to map to macro 1, steps I'm going to put it in macro 2, and distance I'm going to put in macro 3, okay, now, as you can hear we've got the control of these things just now, obviously I've got them on the knobs now, so what I'm actually wanting to do is the first thing, I'm just I'm going to turn up the frequency on this synthesizer here, just so I can hear it a bit better. Right, now I think I want, only want the transpose steps to go up to 3, so what I do, instead of doing it in the MIDI, like we did, we showed you before, where you, you can do these things, when you're building a, an instrument rack, just do it from map mode, it's just here, so if, if you click on map mode and it opens up the macros, and the transpose steps, I want it to go to 3 at maximum, so that's that done, okay? Right, now, come back out of that. Now, the next thing, I'm going to come over to this synth and I'm going to pick and mess about a few things and see what I can uh, use for my hands-on control. Now, the first thing I always got is frequency and resonance, okay, so you can see we've got them, okay. 
So I'm going to right click on that. Now you'll notice here that I'm going to map this uh, to map. Uh, ma ma excuse me. I'm going to map it to macro five. Now the reason I'm doing that is because on my I've set up four knobs and four knobs on the controller, but I want the frequency and resonance to be next to each other. I don't want one here and one down here. So that's I've put it down there. Okay. And I'll do the same with the resonance. Right click on it. Map to macro six. So that's them next to each other. Now if I move those. You can hear that they've got control. Now, the next thing I do. Right, what I'm go oh, just before I balance these, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to uh, grab the attack off this. Because I think the attack's what's making it go funny. Yeah, see, if I, want, I want control of that as well, okay? So I just right click on attack and I'll put that to, ma to macro 7. Okay, now. When we come across here then, what we've got control of is that, we've got the resonance and we've got the frequency. So the next thing we need to do is we need to set the limits for these things, okay? So, what I'm going to do first of all, rather, is I'm going to get the kit playing and I'm going to try and balance this against the kit, okay, roughly. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these up so they're... So I'm going to have them at the high settings. Right, and I reckon that's about as much resonance as I want to be able to have. Now, I'll just open the gate just to see if it sounds with the gate open. Yeah, I reckon about there I'll do for the time being. Now, <coughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to come into map mode down here. And what I'm going to now do is try and set up these so that at, at the limits of what I can move the knobs and what it's going to do to the sound. So I've discovered that for frequency I want that to be maxed out at maximum, okay? For resonance I want about 63%. There we go, 60, 64, that'll do. And for this one I want it to be the full travel so I don't need to touch that, okay? Now, when you see when I turn it up, it's only going up to 64% at the bottom there. When I turn this one, it's going right up. Now the next thing I want is to set the minimum. Try that a bit there. Right, I reckon that's what I want the minimum to be. So for this one it's 60 milliseconds for the minimum. Is that right? Or did I get it to? <coughs> Excuse me. I want it about 60. So sometimes when you're doing this it can think that you're going crazy. There we go. So it's about 62, so now when I move it, it goes to 62 and up to there. Now, resonance, I want that to, the lowest it to be to be 46%. And for this one, I want it to be 1.9k. Come on, come down there, we go 1.8, that'll do. Right, so now, when we switch that off, So, I'm going to start the video here and we're going to get on to the next video and we'll just take it to the next stage, okay? Thanks.